What's good, y'all? Just some more thoughts in my head that I had. I was wondering or thinking how many people, whether it be in the U.S., the U.K., all across the world, that are living lives that they enjoy living and that they're on point, whether it be financially, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and so forth and so forth. Of course, you're going to have bad days on occasions, but for the most part, everything is on point versus the people who are living lives that they're not happy with or they're not content with. But because of their circumstances, they have no choice but to continue living in that lifestyle. And it's not but misery and, you know, just negative, negative thinking. I just can't help but wonder, like, what's it like being a person who's living a happy life and everything is going good for you? Of course, you have problems, but your problems is at a minimum compared to people who is living lives that they're not happy with or it's just not but, you know, problems after problem after problem. It must be nice. Because to me, at least the people who I associate with, whether it be, you know, church members or just people who you see on a daily basis or you'll go to the store and you'll talk to, you know, the cashier who always works there or something like that. You know, we'll speak to each other speak to people like hey how you doing what's going on what up how's life and it's like you know oh it's good oh it's good oh it's great you know we put a smile on our face but in the inside we're really hurting or we're emotionally negrated or we're not happy with our lives because it's nothing but problem after problem after problem and it just seems like the storm won't end so you know, it's like we look at celebrities, you know, or people in Hollywood or whatever, and we look at their lives, and it seems like everything's all glitter, glittery and glamoury, and they got everything going. Of course, they have problems, but, like, it seems like they're living the quote-unquote good life, I guess. And then we compare, we compare their life with our lives, and we see that, you know, a group of us is suffering, and, um, uh, going through, you know, problems and barely surviving in the world, but we try to hope, you know, for better days ahead, or we have dreams that seem like they're on another planet, like Jupiter or Saturn, but because of how the way things are now, you know, we have these negative thoughts in our head, and we want to live the life that they're living, you know, the happy life, you know, everything's on point, you know, financially, you're set, you know, mentally, and just have as minimum problems as you can have. I think a lot of people do that. <clears throat> or you'll have the people that will try to convince themselves or try to force themselves to believe that they're living a life that they're happy with living, but they're really not. So they try to convince themselves that, oh yeah, I'm happy, I'm really happy, but they're really not. You know, it's kind of like a, it's delusion. It's kind of, it's kind of weird, you know. It almost feels like some of us, or a group of us, almost feel like we're nothing more than just puppets. And we're just doing what, you know, the the, the people, you know, who do those the string type of things is doing. We're just going up and down, up and down, up and down. But in the meantime, you know, we keep looking at other people. You know, in the celebrity world, I guess, and it seemed like they got everything going. Of course, you have some of them that have problems and problems, but we look at their lives and then we compare our own lives. And I think that's something that we should stop doing, at least to those type of people who it applies to, because all it's doing is just causing more negative thoughts and more negative thoughts and more negative thoughts. But um, this is, these are just some thoughts that I had. So um, you guys take it easy. All right, peace.